everybody is insignificant. We are all significant and we are all special. We all need other people in order to live. We played the song earlier. I need you to survive, to make life decisions, to help us answer questions. But what type of people do we really need in our lives? Dr. Patrice Charles, CEO and counseling psychologist of the Phoenix Counseling Center is our guest to discuss the topic. Welcome back to The Edge, Dr. Charles. I am so good. I'm so glad you're here because, you know, it, it helps when we can talk about the fact that mm, we need help picking the people around us. Like sometimes it's, it's hard for us to set boundaries and, and to know who is good for us. So it's said that we need people in our lives. We need people to survive, people to uplift us. And everything is easy so, to have the right people in our lives. Great topic. Yeah. With that. And, you, and you're right about one thing. The right people. A hundred percent. That everyone has. It's knowing who's right for you and who's wrong. Um, you know, people come into your life for many reasons. In the house, so so that different developmental stages, um, different seasons, and you can either learn from them and grow, gain experience, experience teaches wisdom. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you have those individuals that come into your life and take from you and give you absolutely nothing. For me, they take your positivity, they take your energy, your positive energy. They leave you with absolutely nothing Nothing. but negativity. Those are the easy ones because you know exactly how you feel when they're around you. Um, you You absorb that negativity. You feel bad even when you're, you, you go into a room seeing them feeling good and walk out feeling bad. Oh feeling good. Yes. You shed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You shed those. I call those vibes vampires. That's what I've, I've coined that term. Yes. Those are the ones that you shed. And oftentimes people hold on to them because they're afraid to be alone or they're afraid of, of losing certain circles. Um, they're, 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 they hold on to them because they're getting something on the back end and it's whatever that they're getting on the back end that they they want. Sacrifice, and I'm going to use that word sacrifice even though I don't like it, but it's literally it's giving up something now because they want something on the back end. It's still bad for you because in the long run, you lose so much of your, your good energy without so getting any any form of, of, of energy back, any positive energy back, you know, there's no replenishing that, that energy at all. But then you have those individuals that's your core group that you want, you know, with your parents, um, your, your really good friends, the ones that you can rely on, um, the ones that, that, that's accountable to your friendship and you're accountable to them, um, the ones that know your core and you can be, you can be who you are and not who they want you to be. That's good. So that's your core. That's your root. So if you look at yourself like a life tree, that's your root. They're always there, good, bad, indifferent. I remember telling my son, um, listen, never ignore your mom. Never ignore me. Now, if you can think of the worst thing that you could possibly do in life, think about that and know that I'll still have your back. Wow, wow. But I am root. Yes. Or your core. And then you have those individuals. You know, you have some of those friends that you don't talk to them, but you know that if you're in Timbuktu and you need help, they'll be there. Yes. Yes. Trunk. So that's the trunk of the oak tree. Hold you up no matter what. They're still a part of your core, but they're just not rooted. But they're they're the ones that's going to hold you up no matter what. So in the good times and bad times, they're important. Because you know you have some individuals, especially just on the social fringe, that they only come around when it's good. Those are your leaves hey. and your fruits. Okay? So they, the, you know, the fruit, if it gets too ripe, it's going to fall off. Mm-hmm. The leaves, when the season change, they dry up, they fall off, they come back. Mm-hmm. So you have some of those friends that coming off of the, 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 the strong trunk mm-hmm. of the tree that they come around for different seasons. So you know you have those friends that you only go carnival with. <laughs> so you have the friends that when Frenchmen come around Christmas, those are the ones that you see. Yep. You go to you go out, those are the ones that you see. Um, and then you have those type of friends that when things good with your man, money turn up, everything good. Yep. Ones that are there. Mm-hmm. 
they act like they're always there for you. But they're like the fruit. As soon as something goes wrong and you need help, you can't find them. Wow. So, but they're important in your life too, because interacting with social, interacting socially is all social activities is also an important part of, of your growth. Mm -hmm. And being able to differentiate between all of those persons is very important. So when a fruit falls off your tree, you don't personalize it. You know that another one is going to grow back when that season comes around again. Wow. It's that to fall off your tree. You don't personalize it and think that and devalue yourself mm -hmm. or diminish your emotions because your social group is gone. Carnival coming around again. They will all come back. <laughs> trunk. Your trunk, you keep your roots watered and you keep and your oh, trunk will always bear leaves and fruits oh this is so good that, and with all of that like you answered every single question that i could possibly ask on this topic i mean it's just like yeah there are just people who will always be there and others that won't always be there and it's just very important for you to be discerning of who is who and pay the right people the right type of attention love this love this so powerful everyone on the live is like oh this is so spot on that's so deep that's so dope everybody said yes it is so great thank you so much for joining me dr patrice charles so you know this social this social uh life that we're living is one that that you have absolutely adequately personified in a tree and we'll never forget it we'll never forget it thank you so much <laughs> this is the edge 105 fm the topic of the day is what types of people do you want to be around you what types of people should you choose to be around you dr patrice charles just broke it down you need your roots your close friends your friends your family who you can really be yourself with then you have your trunk these are people that are not there all the time but you can call on them in good times and bad and then now you have your leaves and your fruits who you know come around in good times not necessarily there all the time sometimes they dry up and they drop off seasons change and fruits you know ripe and overripe and drop off don't take it personally the people that are supposed to be there all the time you give them the attention that they need and just know that we're all trying to figure this out as we go along don't be too hard on yourself and know that you need cheerleaders in your life the question of the day that we're asking who is the biggest cheerleader in your life we're gonna pause for some music and then get back to a lot of voice notes because you are recognizing the people that lift you up and that is what we need to do you know appreciate the people that appreciate you this is the edge 105 fm Smile a while you touch me